my people my people come and hear what Marianne has to say to miss little frida and then drop your comments in there and let me know what you thought about this video but let us play this here and here the battle continues between Marianne and frida is what i call it this video is just to address um the nonsense out there about this um mrs aka because she's no longer freda as far as i'm concerned she's mrs aka um who who is going about claiming that um she's been scammed <laughs> she mentioned to a moron that um she's been scammed of two thousand dollars only for her to do a live video and claim that she's been scammed of eight eight thousand dollars she said people should ask her what is the money for what is the money for because you cannot say somebody uh, asks you for eight thousand dollars or two thousand dollars and you don't tell the people you don't have the effort to tell the people what the money is for and you know one thing I've noticed on social media is that people take unnecessary risk and then they lose their page. If you guys recall, I did a live video warning Justin to block, to block every damn person on his WhatsApp and on Facebook. It's there. The video I did is there. It's called Mindfulness. Anybody who listen to these two videos, they will know that I've, I'm fed up getting myself in unnecessary stupidness that doesn't even concern me, all because of Justin. And you know what? Even in your own private life, anytime you tell your friend or family or even your children that, no, there's a danger there, and they keep going to the danger, they keep going to the... What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You can't force people. But especially people that you know, you are making a lot of sacrifice for, and every single mess you are going through is associated with their association. You know, as I said to you guys before, um, I don't know this Freda woman from nowhere. And if you guys um, are curious cat like me, go to Facebook. Go in your search engine and put... On Facebook, yeah, you will see search. Type in Freda. You will see everything. Just keep going um, going down. Scroll down all the way down. You will see the people who posted about Freda in 2019. People who posted about Freda in 2020. You will see all that history there. See how many tick of like there. It's only one. Maximum two. Huh? Everything she she's you know she's coming on social media to exaggerate herself and all that. Yeah, we all fall for it because of the love for Justin. But you see, if you guys, some of you, I, I pray some of you are spiritual being. When you are spiritual being, God will send somebody or something will happen in your life that will help you to free yourself. Now. I've been telling Justin in What's Up that I need a break. I just need that break. And he knows the reason why the last straw that makes me tell him that I needed that break. Because I don't see any reason whatsoever. There is no excuse to wrap yourself in all these strangers. After everything that has been happening since 2020, late 2021, then 2022. And then 2023, all those women, the way they backstab him, the way they betrayed him, the way they, they leak, leak, leak. There come a time where he needs to sit his ass down and then think about the repercussion of his own behavior, of his own entanglement with all these people. There's no excuse to continue taking risks. And I had enough. And I have all the evidence. I told him I needed a break. This was way, way, way months ago. Because at the end of the day, you cannot, I cannot afford to be cleaning mess on social media, on Facebook. Mess that I don't, 
you know, I don't have nothing to do with. When it comes to a time, especially when you know you are recovering from any health issue, then you continue getting yourself involved in things, things like this. It's not good for anyone. And when, and when you love somebody, when you care so much about somebody, and your health is at risk, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision for your own health's sake. He knows the last straw. I don't do groups. I don't want nobody to put me in WhatsApp group. And he knows. He knows that. I've never been in any group on this social media when it comes to Justin and Kuramata. And there is no way, after all the scandals, then for me to discover a group on WhatsApp, then you don't put me in it. When, when you put me in it, then you've crossed the line. You don't give a damn about whatever has been happening, all the scandals that has been happening, all the, the backstabbing that has been happening. And it's not even necessary. There are risks and there are unnecessary risks. Sometimes you have to take a risk in this life in order to succeed. But there are unnecessary risks. And getting into that WhatsApp group is an unnecessary risk. So that was it for me. And this happened around November. I have the exact date on, on, on the WhatsApp. And that was it for me. Because all these women I saw there, especially that crystal woman, that evil crystal woman, who has been collating innocent people, personal details, their home address, under the pretense that she wants to send them gifts for Christmas. This happened, is it 2020, 2021 or 2022? Then I started having, you know, inbox, you know, complaints. And where did she get their phone number from? From getting into that uh, Zoom that she created. So you can see the way she managed to get people into get coming into the was uh, into the Zoom, the Zoom meeting, the first group that ever existed when it comes to uh, uh, Justin and Kuramata, when it comes to Justin's followers, is Zoom Zoom meeting that the Crystal woman. That she's the same person behind Zoe. And that Zoom, a lot of fights happen there. Nobody else should know, apart from the people who are who are in the group in who are in the Zoom, isn't it? But it is the same Krista who came to the public on, the, on her pages and start ranting and ranting and ranting, exposing the people in that Zoom Zoom meeting. And that is how a lot of us we might we know that the, the Zoom they had a problem in that Zoom. Through the same, the same Krista, also known as Zoe. And this is the same woman, Justin is aligned to, to, to do a WhatsApp group. After all the scandals that, that has been going on, who does that? So that was when I told him I needed a break. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of all this. And I managed to get my rest and sleep. But you see, this further one is the, is the total, total last straw for me. Because... I was minding my own business. We did what we have to do, just like we did for all the other models. You want us to support those models? We did. We went to their IG. We clicked like. We went to their, their um, prof profile and pages. We took follow to support them because that was your agreement with them. But you see this Freda woman, she wants control. She's so desperate to trend to make money on Facebook. And don't forget, at that time, we don't even know that she had a problem in her marriage and all that kind of stuff. But we did support her. A lot of us, we gather together, we share our music, we stream our music. And when she was attacked, you guys remember, I have to come out and tell Lolo off because it's not appropriate. We have to be honest with ourselves. But Lolo didn't stop because Lolo believed that, you know, she's divorced and all that. Whether somebody is divorced or not shouldn't be our business. Especially when we say we are, we are, we are just in supporters. It shouldn't be our business. However, it is the way Freda handled the situation because she refused to keep quiet. She refused to mind her own business. She wants to do Woto Woto and Saga, fighting back and forth, back and forth with Lolo. 
Even though we told her several times, no, 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 just ignore, ignore. But no, then the Koreans, look at the history of the Koreans. They went to different, different platforms to bully and harass uh, Justin's models. Did those models answer them? Uh, answer them? No. Immediately they see that the, 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 the models didn't answer them. What did the Koreans do? They move on. They leave. And go back to all those models now. They're doing their own thing. They're developing their own pages gradually. But look at Freda. Freda will not stop. So many times I will, she will phone me. Oh, complaining, complaining about Cora. Cora is uh, doing this to her. I said, no. I have so many people, so many good people out there. There's nothing going on that I don't know. But Cora never mentioned her name, but she never agreed. The hatred for Cora is as blinded her, which makes me accept that she's been trying to get Cora to give her attention and help her for so long. But she didn't, even though she's, she's been tagging Cora. All the time you, Justin followers, supporters, all the time you guys have been working so hard to make sure that the, the CPS doesn't, doesn't take the children away from him. What, what was Freda doing? She was busy trying to attract a, 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 a Cora. Now, even though I keep telling her, no, 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 no. Um, Cora didn't mention your name. Oh, but she may reference me. I said, but reference doesn't matter. But she didn't mention your name. Focus on, on, on your own platform. Focus on building it. At that time, there was Freda. Before, before Facebook uh, uh, unpublished Freda, she never listened. She will go back to a page and start slagging Cora off. Now, all of you who claim to support Justin, you guys know that there's nothing I'm saying on that social media. There's nothing I'm doing that Justin doesn't know anything about. And he dare not deny it because he knows that I'm the PR for media. But he's not supposed to be going behind my back to be fraternizing with all these all this mad women who, have, who, are, who are clearly opportunists because that is where scandal will come from. Somebody, one person have to manage the affairs of social media, especially because of his situation. He knows this. Now, this Freda woman, she couldn't stop. She did a lot of videos with Justin at Justin's house. When she knew that she didn't get away, that they, they um, that Facebook unpublished Freda, what did what did she do? She went mad against Justin. She be phoning me, phoning me, complaining about Justin. Oh, Justin used her, and I say, but how? Then she will explain. Oh my God, I'm like, does this woman breathe when she's talking? She be going on and on. Oh, Justin used me. Look at how many views our video take. And he didn't give me any money. And I said to, to Freda, and I was honest with her. I said, look, way before the models come, myself and Justin, we brainstorm about the idea. Because a lot of chiropractor on social media, they use models. He needs to focus on rebuilding his business. And he needs models. And the models will enhance the rebuilding. But... The agreement was that he's going to promote their pages. It has nothing to do with whether he's going to pay you any money. But Freda didn't accept that. Oh, but he's a user. He's a user. He's lazy. He just sit there. He won't do anything about Cora. He won't do this to Cora. He won't help. It's like this woman is determined to. It's, it's hate. You don't hate another woman being. Yes, we are not happy about the way Cora treated the children. But there's no, there shouldn't be eight involved. No way. There shouldn't be eight involved. Especially when you know the person struggles with their mental health. It's, it's documented facts. So in anything we do, we have to keep thinking deep. Think deep. And up to today, as I'm talking to you, Justin is still following Cora. Go to Justin followers page. Justin is still following Cora. Justin still have Cora's uh, 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 pictures on his website. So you can see that, you know, 
So why are you fighting? Why are you so aggressively bullying Justin? Because it has turned to bullying. Making demands. The man didn't have any contract with you to pay you. You chose to do those videos at his house. You chose. You agree to it. And that and if you guys remember, she used her own phone as well. Justin used his own phone. Freda used her own phone. So why would you be telling me, complaining to me, that no, uh, Justin used you, he is the one who, who make all those views, and he was paid by, by, by Facebook. But go, guys, go to Justin's page now. All the videos of Freda in his house is gone. Because the bullying this woman was doing behind the scenes is too much. And he knows there's a new, she knows there's a new relationship. Then she complained to me. Oh, he, di he didn't tell me that he's going to introduce Summer. He, you know, he did it to shock me. He did it to, to silence me. He, did it, he brought uh, Summer out to, to push me away. And I said, but you said you are married. So what do you mean that he, he, he pushed you away? You are married and this is not a new relationship. I know the day he met, he met Summer. He sent me, you know, he sent me information. He spoke to me about it. He was excited about this young lady. But then, you know, the lady freaked out, but they were still in communication. That is his girlfriend. Pray for him that it work. No, 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 mama. I'm not going to, I'm not going to congratulate them. I'm not going to put them on my page. I said, but Justin promoted you. Justin promoted you. And you know he has gone through a lot. You have to t calm down. Because at that time, before then, when I see that Justin uh, has involved himself in a WhatsApp group, I thought at that time, I thought Justin and Freda, they were close like, you know, like uh, uh, Freda was making us to believe. So when, when uh, Justin messed up by getting himself involved in that WhatsApp group, I, I sent the screenshot to Freda to tell him off because me, I'm tired. I need to sleep. She knows this. And that is because I knew that that WhatsApp group is going to create scandal. And I and I reported Justin to another office of, of, of somebody that I know he, he was close with. That look, this is a, a problem that is going to happen because that crystal woman, that Zoe woman with so many criminal records is in that WhatsApp. And as an admin. So what did Justin did? Justin make sure that 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 was up group, you know, is gone. It's gone. But one thing I I get I, I find frustrating is that anytime a, a red flag is in front of you, you have to take immediate action. You don't need to wait. You don't need to wait. This woman Freda will be phoning. Asking, oh, I want to do, I want, she wants to do petition. Petition is not free. You have to do it yourself or get a solicitor. I gave her the advice. She wants to sue Lolo, but Lolo live in the UK. You live in America. How do I go about it, mama? Justin said you are very good that you help him to win his case. But please, how do, how do, how, how do, how do, do I do this? I even allow my own friend that has been helping me with Justin. I allow him to give to, to give um, um, Freda free advice, and he told her the truth. It's going to be a difficult case because you don't live in the same country with Lolo. That is number one. Number two, it's better you get an American solicitor, but get all your evidence first before you approach the solicitor. Get a solicitor in America. Because they will, they will categorize it as a cyber crime. But he even gave Freda the pros and cons that if it's not a good, a, a strong case, it's better to just ignore it or to approach the Metropolitan, uh, Metro, Metropolitan Police UK via the website so that the matter can go through the criminal system, which means the police are the one who will investigate the matter. And that is free for Freda. But if she wants um, a solicitor, 
The so so is going to cost between so 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 amount to so so amount. Excuse me, does that mean I, I ever ask a, 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 a further for money? Do you see the way she's lying to people? Oh, she do, she she requested two thousand dollars from me. Oh, she requested uh, then she then she changed the story and says I requested eight thousand dollars from her. For what? And nobody asks this woman what is the money for? Because she's the one who is saying all these lies to you people. But you can see clearly that she's operating a hacking account. And you sit there and you went into that den. Do you know what they call those kind of pages? It's a account den. Your account, all of you commenting there, your account is the one that tricks. They will draw you in. But they've seen, they've seen your comment. They will click your page. They, they, now they know your, your unique IP. When they are ready, they will finish. One day you wake up, your account is gone because they need that template. It is the template they, you know, Akas always also for. Once they have the template, they can wipe everything in there and they input what they want to input there. And you know what? You know, one thing about me is that I don't like to see my fellow woman being get hot. But you see this further one? That was the last straw for me. And I did, and I was, I was so happy that I did that mindfulness um, video, live video, telling Justin to block. Because I've already told him in, in what's up since November. I'm going to block you from my Facebook. Every avenue on social media will block you. He knows since November last year. Because there's no reason why, you know, you get yourself involved in a WhatsApp group after all the scandals. And if you genuinely care about somebody, you have to confront them with the truth. You cannot enable, you know, enable Justin when you can see clearly that the association he keeps is his problem. The people he attracts to are his problem. And if you genuinely love somebody, you will tell them the truth. You don't enable them. To continue self-sabotaging, to continue self-incriminating, every single thing that man trusted uh, Freda with. Freda told me, and that was it for me. Because you cannot be pretending in public that you care about Justin, knowing what Justin has gone through, and then telling me those terrible things about him behind his back. Things that can put him in jail. Things that can put him in jail. And I know one of it particularly is a bloody lie because I have the evidence that it was a lie. I have the evidence that Freda was lying against this man. But because of the way Justin went again to pretend that he's happy with, with Freda, despite complaining to me about how she, she, he feel harassed, you know, but he, does, he didn't own her any money and all that kind because that was not the plan. The plan was to, was to promote uh, all the models' pages. And I agree with Justin about that because I, was, I, I brainstormed that idea with Justin way, way, way back before, before you, you guys start seeing the models. And I don't like it when you are pretending to this man in public. And at, at the end of the day, you are going behind different, different people, complaining to them. How he's a lazy man, he's a drunkard, he's a this addict. No, you don't do that. You don't. And that is one of the reasons why God is punishing Freda. Because you can see she's going from one platform to the other, one platform to the other, one platform to the other. She will, she, because she doesn't want you guys to see the evidence. All of you that she has inbox, she doesn't want you guys to start bringing the evidence out. So she have to make a decision and get rid of Bad Girl Freda and get rid of um, a Freda fan page. But one thing Justin have, have to continue do, doing, to start doing from now on, if he really want to succeed and if he really, really loves Summer, is to take action appropriately and in a good timing. You don't need to wait. You don't need to pacify anybody. You don't need to. So he block, he, he block. He blocked me on uh, pro my profile page. And I blocked him from Princess Mare page. And it was mutual understanding because I've had enough. And he knows this, this, this since November when I, when I abandoned my, my, my what's up. Because it was too much. It was too much. I got involved in, in this because of the children. 
and it's because I don't want CPS to take those children. Because I know how long it will take for the parents to have the children back. But since Cora doesn't want to work with anyone, the, the only person we can work with is Justin. And we did our best. Nobody can take that hard work away from us. Because Freda doesn't even have anything to do with our movement. She's just a grabber, an opportunist, and a hustler. Like she call herself bad girl Freda, and that is who she is. She puts her husband through hell. What you guys see, they are living together until the judge, as I'm talking to you now, the judge hasn't made the decision, but they've been divorced since 2020. And Freda has been going back to court to request some money. Because the only money she have is that four years. In my previous video, I made a mistake and say four months. And in another part, I say four years. But it is four years she stay in the, in, in the military. So all this exaggeration, exaggeration. It is you bloggers, you have to be careful. You who call yourself Justin supporters, you have to be careful. Protect your bank, I mean, your accounts, your Facebook accounts. Because where you are going to comment and all that, it's a, it's a, it's, you can see clearly that it is a hacker's page. This is the same Freda who was accusing, uh, 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 slagging Cora off. Slagging Cora off that Cora, Cora 8 point something million is fake. But look at her. You guys didn't ask. Say, hold on a minute. Where, where did you get 1.7 million page from? Amapel. Where did you get it from? The other one, uh, Arewa, she have another one now, Sweaty or whatever Arewa. That one is one round something thousand followers. Go, go, and if you are observant like me, you will, <laughs> you will get the the unique IP address before she they, they change it. All those ones we have it. We have we have collected all those unique different different unique u, unique Facebook unique unique address. And it is a lie that Facebook does does all these things. No. If you want to try, uh, export one page to the other, you have to own those pages. And it has to bear a similar name. But if you go and buy a page, that is, is, is illegal. Facebook doesn't do that. You can hand over your page to an admin. But that means you have to remove yourself from it. But later on, what Akaz do is that they will go and report that page as missing. The people, some people in Africa, when they live in a country that is not um, eligible for monetization, but they build their page, what they do is they will sell the page. But these are the people who sell those pages to Akaz. And the Akaz will make money. It's like a business. They make money out of all those kind of pages. And what they do is that it, <laughs> all your details and everything, because that is their den. It is, they, they own that page. They control it the way they want. Your money is gone and they lock you out. So you guys have to be careful. There is a lot going on. But at the end of the day, you know, the peace you guys are having in your own home matters. Anybody can come on social media and want to railroad you. But at the end of the day, I'm happy that Justin took that decision to block. I don't have to have relationship with, with anyone on Facebook. I can have relationship outside, outside of Facebook. Because Facebook has become the den, you know, the, the play area of bullies. And who, who did they attack? This, the person that they know is helping Justin with, with his CPS case. Any, anybody who have brain, we figure that out now. Anybody who want to scam him or want to take advantage of him, who did they come after? Me, Princess Awolowo. Because they know that I'm the one who is helping him with the CPS case. I'm, I'm, I'm the one advising him very close to him. But you see, when it started affecting my own health, I have to tell him I told him off. You don't have to get entangled with all these useless opportunities. Dangerous women. This Freda is even worse than, than I, I suspected earlier. Because look at, since Freda entangled with, with Justin. Look at what has happened. 
Justin and Cora's review supposed to end in December 2023. We were praying and hoping for that good news. And there was no way Justin is going to fail that review. Because I always tell him, during review, this is what will happen, this is what will happen. And he always listened to it. Listen to that advice. But immediately this further took over, is, is waking up, phoning, phoning aggressively. What, what has been happening? Look, look at what Freda did to his case. It was the same Freda in Minnesota who was slagging Cora off when, when Justin was there. You guys saw the video. That video was sent to the CPS. Now he failed the, the, the review in December. And then there's other reason, like a lack of uh, attending appointment, but that was not his fault. It was the appointment center that gave him another date. Eh? But what is happening? Think about it, guys. The allegation they are facing, they, they face in August, not July, because he won the uh, July one, the one, the hearing that we finished in July. But there was a new allegation in August. And that one relates to they are back and forth on social media that is impacting on the children. Now look at what Freda has done to his case. Right there when, when Justin was there, she knew Justin was sitting there. And she started slagging Cora off. Terribly. And he, she, ah, that woman is dangerous. She connivingly asked Justin to come near to the camera. Go and look at that video. So that Justin's face will show clearly. And what happened? The Koreans, they send that to the CPS. And the CPS have that. Of course, they have, they have to extend their review to March. And that is where we are now. But you know one thing about me is that if I warn you, if I warn you, if I tell you all these things that has been helping you, helping you, and all of a sudden you want to continue to do things your own way, associating with all these people you, that you can see clearly that are not for your best interest, then I'm going to let you go. Because sometimes you have to learn through the hard way. But one thing is not that is not fair is for him to be blaming, 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 blaming. If people love you, you don't abuse their mental faculty. You don't introduce them to all these people that you hardly know. Just just didn't know no no uh, uh, Freda. They are not. They were not friends. They met couple of occasions. The first time they met uh, at the airport. Justin and Cora were traveling and they saw uh, uh, Freda. Freda approached them. Hello, hello. And it was Cora that Freda was sending message to, saying to Freda, uh, saying to um, to Cora, this was after June was born, saying to Cora to go and buy the stomach belt. But the way Freda, <laughs> the way Freda said, oh, I helped Cora and I was helping Cora. No, she never helped Cora. Because Cora is very smart. She never allowed Freda to come too close to her. Because she knows uh, Freda too is a jackpot girl. They come from the same place. So she knows that kind of, uh, that, you know, Freda kind of a person. But Freda sent a message to her. Oh, but, uh, get um, a stomach belt. Is that hell? But the way Freda was going on and on when she was attacking Cora, she said, Yo, I even help her. It's a lie. Since she married Jeremy in 2015, it has been a terrible, terrible marriage because she, she's a jackpot girl. She doesn't want to stay in one place and, 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 and enjoy marriage. She wants to continue going out, going out, doing her own thing. This was after she married Freddie. Divorced. She married Freddie for one year. She married Freddie for only one year. Then she, she married uh, uh, Jeremy in 2015. Go and see their record. What has been, what she has put this man through since that marriage. She was pregnant with the second child when they got married in Hawaii. The first child was awarded to, to, uh, to, to Jeremy. Go and ask her why. You guys have to be careful on Facebook. The most important thing is you have to protect your own mental health. Yes, we all care about Justin. But like I said to you in so many of my videos, pray for him. Pray for him and pray for Cora as well. Pray for Justin for this relationship with Soma to work. 
Because some appear to be a calm, calm spirit. Pray for that work. Pray for the children to be saved. And pray for Korah to, 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 to find somebody to, to be in love with. And pray to God for you to avoid people like Freda on social media. Because there is a lot of people like that on social media. It's up to you to open your eyes. And please guys, protect your Facebook account. Be careful who you give your personal details to. I'm begging you in the name of God. Be careful who you give your personal details to. If you are, if you are just a supporter, doesn't mean that you have to be giving people like Krista your phone number or, or your or your home address. Come on, guys, what are you thinking of? And then you are you you, you are now blocking her. If she asks you to give her stars because she wants to send something for the children, if you want to send something for the children, please go to Justin's page. You will see his own PayPal account there. Stop using third party. Only for it to create scandal again and then she'll be leaking all the things that you guys have been saying. Look at the way she lied against uh, Rhonda. Look at the way she lied that I did the expert thing. For Justin, I've never up till now. I've never done one expert for Justin. But look at the way she's lying. Now this this is the same person that Justin is still entangled with. I haven't spoken to Justin's mother for a while because I need to focus on my life. My my personal life is very peaceful, and that is the way I want to maintain it. And you guys, you know, you are not blind. You know how hard we came together positively to support Justin. And the children do that stay united but use your brain take care of your health i can guarantee you guys that since since i abandoned the whatsapp that connects me and justin i've been sleeping very very good and since i blocked justin from princess mia and he too he blocked from uh, he blocked the one in uh, my profile i even slept extra good and i'm not kidding you it's 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 just the way things were in my home way before I get myself involved in this is love yourself and be careful. Not everything you see on social media are true, but the most important thing is don't lose yourself. Don't let anybody <laughs> use your mental faculty over nothing. If somebody wants to train, they can boost, they can develop a page and they can keep their gob short. You cannot be doing water water against against the Koreans and you and you want them not to do water water with you back.